What's up? What can I tell you that you don't already know? Women, after a breakup, always normally have something already set up or planned that leads to the breakup. But sometimes the breakup happens unexpectedly. But they didn't set anything up or weren't setting themselves up for the breakup. Which means the woman sometimes is very unprepared for what might happen. What's up, Spacely, man? So, Sometimes women are not prepared when the man moves on and becomes happy before them. Now, this is a growing thing, right? The man jump out there and start absolutely, and I mean absolutely, Starting a new life. Oh, it could be years. Perfect example. I got a friend, been divorced, four years divorced. He's remarried before her. She then went on a slew of dates with other guys. It wasn't working out, I guess. Four years divorced. He gets remarried. She starts crying. I'm like, you broke up with this man you cheated on that man that man never cheated on you he gave you nothing but happiness and you got on him every day because he didn't have a, a, a higher paying job or and all this and you making him feel bad talking about you make more money than him so you broke the relationship up chasing a dream Because you was in love with a heroin addict. And what a surprise. Heroin addict ODs. Now you stuck out there. Now what you gonna do? Now you're stuck in the zone. I mean, stuck out there. So now he's moved on. Got a kid. And you crying. <laughs> what you crying for? She's crying. I'm crying because I'm happy for him that he moved on. Are you not? You crying because you haven't moved on yet. You wanted to be the one happy, showing him and proving him wrong. You wanted to rub it in his face like, ha, I don't need you. And look where it got you. Look where it got you. It got you begging this man to show you some appreciation. And what did she do next? Once she finds out he's married, she wants to extend the olive branch. And come around. I want to meet your new bride. And I just wanted to send him, send him a long letter. Telling him how happy she was for them. Whole big paragraph. And he was looking like, that don't sound nothing like the girl I married. <laughs> but she was like, well, she sounds nice. He was like, all right, well, just be careful. 
You know, I'll let you talk to her on Facebook and this and that. So she's always liking every picture they put up as soon as it hits. So you know she's like stalking the page. Then comes the biggest one. The biggest blow. Right? She start taking the pictures and then she would make a whole thing like a collage video and send it to them. Like she was really championing their relationship. Then it got to the point where she started speaking to him. Hey, how you doing? How's everything? How's the baby? Just a whole different person. So he's caught off guard. This goes on for about about a year or give or take a month or two before it goes into, well, I thought I would be invited to the kid's birthday party and you guys didn't invite me. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do the list. He's like, well, I'll ask her. She's like, I bought a gift and everything. I just assumed I would be invited. He was like, oh, you're sure you're invited. Um, you know, I'm sorry I didn't put you down and everything, but you're definitely invited. So they invited her. She came there, gave a gift, everything. And while she's there, she's telling friends that they know that she don't even know. She's like, yeah, I talked to them. You know, they're good friends. I just hope that such and such has gotten over, you know, his excessive drinking at night. You know, because he used to drink. Yeah, you know, me and him, well, we used to be together. Yeah, and, you know, and it didn't work out because he was a excessive drinker and he became a slouch, you know, as we got married. I hope she's gotten that. And I told her, you know, I hope you change him and make him go after his dreams. He could be more. So she's causing discord within and their whole marriage that didn't have any problems. She's all living through their marriage. Through this whole time, she's not found one other person. She'll date a guy for a month or two, it breaks off, and she's right back living through their relationship and marriage. Because she got the new wife saying the things that she used to say. New wife is like, well, I just want you to, you know, move forward and try to do things because I was talking to her and she was saying that, you know, that you keep stopping yourself. And I do see that now that I, I've been around you. I've seen that, you know, in the four years, I just didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to be that kind of wife. But I mean, you need to really push yourself, you know, go for that promotion. You know, you hold yourself back. And of course, he's looking like it's the same thing I got away from. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing I got away from. Now, she's basically turning your wife into her. So now your wife, who you thought you married, and which you did, who was one way, and y'all got it with no problems, got with the ex-wife, and now the ex-wife then cloned her into you, into her. So now what? She's brainwashed. Now she's not trusting you. She's being all devious and now she's listening to the ex-wife and he telling her look i think she's just poison she gotta go i think he let it go on too long would a marriage last nope <laughs> nope i don't see it lasting and I've given him this advice. We went and saw Avengers. And I was like, dude, Avengers Endgame. I'll never forget it. This dude talked through the entire damn movie <laughs> about his damn relationship. And I told him then, I said, dude, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. Now, Either you're going to have to realize something. <laughs> your, your wife ain't where you want her to be right now. Okay? And you're definitely not in a good place because 
You sitting here and talk two and a half hours straight through this movie. <laughs> Luckily, I've seen it a couple of times. Yeah, how many chicks are going to see Avengers Endgame? <laughs> I see T goes an idiot. Uh no, he got his own popcorn. Popcorn's free for me. I can get popcorn anytime I want. Oh, he's hurt. I mean, he's he's more distracted by it than anything. It's totally ruined him. He's all caught off guard by it. You know, like, it's it's happening. She's turning into my ex. Me, I'm entirely different. I can kill that. <laughs> that would never happen to me. Do I feel bad for him? Uh, it's like if it happens once, shame on them. If it's happening twice, it's shame on you. He has a very good wife. She's very naive. And sometimes she's easy to be manipulated. I know his first wife and I know what she is. She's full of games, full of surprises and full of you know what. So... Anything thing is about him is that he lies to himself. And he needs me to tell him the truth. He knows the truth. And that's what I told him. I'm like, you want me to tell you the truth. You always want someone else to do something for you instead of you doing it yourself. You know what's wrong. You know the answer. You know what you need to do. But you want me to tell it to you so you can say, oh, man, he told me that's what I need to do. No, 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 no. You already know what's going on. Just like he did the first time around with her. The first girl. The first girl he was with, he knew about the guy she was sleeping with. He had to. Because she was very bold and stupid and, and didn't care. So the heroin addict did what a heroin addict does. He just chilling in his house and he cared more about heroin than her. And she just loved him to death. Yeah, she drove all the way out to be with a heroin addict. And the heroin addict, he probably don't even know she was there half the time. She's, I'm here, baby. Then <laughs> he was gone, smacked out. Then one day, you know, the smack just took its toll. Then all of them guys are gone from smack. Living the smack life. So, so let this be known. Always stay sharp. Well, the thing is about it depends on who you with. It's not like everybody just runs out and cheating. It just happens. The person was cheating before they even got married. It just it's a whole different situation. People getting married for the wrong reasons and never should have been married in the first place. Those two should have never been married. Never. Well, you have to realize something. 
when you make that mistake, this is a mistake that could cost you everything. Or, check this out, you could learn from it and evolve. You know what you're not going to go through again. Most black men don't get married more than twice. That's it. Once and twice. Because it's very expensive. White folks, they get married three, four times. It's nothing. <laughs> They've been married at 20, divorced at 23, married again at 26. It's nothing for them. But for us, it's different. So, on that note, I'll see you later. It's Patreon time.